hello students welcome to engineers academy now we are going to solve this problem from vector mechanics by bear and johnston and the problem says that determine the resultant of three forces of problem 223 so we are given these three forces and these dimensions in millimeter and we are asked to find the resultant of these three forces so these um, forces are making some angle Let's say that this is making angle theta here, this is making angle theta, and this is making angle theta. But the angle information is given in terms of these um, dimensions, or in terms of these millimeters distances. So, uh, as we know that uh, this 800 Newton will have uh, one component in the X, and it will have one component in the Y. And let's say that this... Um, 800 Newton is making some angle theta here and uh, let's say that it is making some angle alpha so this 800 Newton force will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction and since this component is adjacent to this angle alpha so this one will be the cos component so we can say that this component will be 800 cos of alpha and this component is acting in the positive x direction so this component is positive and similarly this component this is the sine component since it is not adjacent to this angle alpha so this one will be the sine component it is 800 sine of alpha so now we can say that uh, force of 800 newton the x component is 800 cos of alpha and the component is acting in the positive x so we will write plus sign here and the sine component um, the y component of 800 newton is 800 sine of alpha now we can find cos of alpha and sine of alpha using this right angle triangle so if we consider this right angle triangle cos of alpha will be base divided by this hypotenuse so then we have to find the hypotenuse length so this length can be determined by using the pythagoras theorem so we can find let's say that um, let say that this uh, 800 newton force terminates at point a so the oa is the hypotenuse so we can find oa we can say that oa square this will be equal to this 800 square plus 600 square so 800 square plus 600 square and if you want to find uh, OA so we have to take square root on both sides of the equation so we will get OA and this will give us OA 800 square plus 600 square this gives us OA equals to 1000 mm so OA is 1000 mm so now we know the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle and now we can say that cos of alpha is the base divided by hypotenuse so the base is 800 mm so now here i can write that the x component is 800 and the cos of alpha is the base which is 800 divided by the hypotenuse which is oa so oa is thousand and similarly the sine of alpha we can find the sine of alpha from this right angle triangle as well so the sine of alpha will be this perpendicular divided by the hypotenuse so we can say that this will be 800 sine of alpha will be the perpendicular so the perpendicular for 800 is 600 mm divided by the hypotenuse which is oa so that will be thousand so now we can find the x component that is 800 multiply by 800 divided by 1000 so this is 640 so the x component of 800 newton is plus 640 similarly uh, the sine component will be 800 multiply by 600 divided by 1000 so this is the y component for 800 newton is plus 480 remember that this y component this x component is acting in the positive x and this y component is acting in the positive y so both the components are positive similarly um, 
for this 480 newton let's say that this uh, this 408 newton is making some angle beta here so let's say that uh, this angle is angle beta and now again we can write that the second force is 408 newton remember that these components are in newtons so 408 newton and now this 408 newton uh, force will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction one component in this direction and the other component will be in this direction so the sum of both of these will be this 408 newton now the x component is the positive x and the y component is in the negative y and since uh, this y component is adjacent to the angle beta so the y component is the cos component and the x component is the sine component so now we can write that the x component is plus 408 sine of beta and the x component the the y component is adjacent to beta so this one is the cos component and it is acting in the negative y direction so we will write minus 408 sine uh, cos of beta since it is adjacent to the angle so cos of beta let me show those components here as well so this one is the y component and this one will be this one is the uh, x component so the x component is in the positive x so it is positive and the y component is in the negative y and the y component is adjacent to beta so it is the cos component and the other component the x component is the sine component now to find the cos of beta and sine of beta again we have to use this right angle triangle now so this is our beta angle so sine of beta will be this perpendicular uh, divided by the hypotenuse so let's say that this particular point is let's say point b let's see this is point b so now we have to find the ob length so ob using pythagoras theorem so ob square will be equal to this length square this length is 900 plus this length square so 900 square plus 480 square and if you want to find ob you have to take the square root so this will give us ob length now ob 900 square plus 480 square this gives me 1020 mm 1020 mm now we know ob length we can simply say that sine of beta is 408 and sine of beta will be this perpendicular divided by the hypotenuse since we are using this right angle triangle and the angle is this so the side opposite to this beta angle will be perpendicular so perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so sine of beta is 480 divided by 1020 and similarly cos of beta will be um, this base divided by hypotenuse so the side adjacent to the angle is the is the base so this is base and this is the hypotenuse so now we can say that this will be minus 408 and this will be the base is 900 divided by the hypotenuse which is 1020 so now the x component is 408 multiplied by 480 divided by 1020 this gives me 192 so this is plus 192 the x component is uh, the x component is in the positive x so this is positive similarly the y component is uh, minus 408 multiplied by 900 divided by 1020 so this gives me minus 360 so minus 360 now we are left with the final force which is uh, this 424 newton again let's say that this 484 newton force is making same some angle gamma here so let me represent that angle let's say this gamma and it will have two components again one of its components is going to act like this and one of its components is going to act like this so 
the this is the x component this one is the x component which is acting in the negative x direction so this will be negative and this is the y component this is also acting in the negative direction so both the components are negative now this component is attached to the angle so this one will be the cos component so the y component is the cos component and the x component is the sine component so again i will write that this is for 424 newton the the x component is the sine component so i will write that 424 sine of gamma and this is acting in the negative x and similarly the the y component is a minus 424 cos of gamma now again to find cos of uh, gamma and sine of gamma again we have to consider this right angle triangle so cos of gamma will be this base divided by hypotenuse again we have to find this hypotenuse length using pythagoras theorem let's say that uh, this particular point is point c so we need to find uh, this oc length using pythagoras theorem so oc square is equal to 900 square plus 560 square since we are considering this right angle triangle so this length is 900 this is 560 so 900 square plus 560 square and then to find oc we need to take the square root so this will be 900 square plus 560 square so this gives me 1060 mm so now we can say that sine of uh, gamma is this perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so sine of gamma is minus 424 sine of gamma is 560 divided by oc length which is 1060 oc is the hypotenuse of the triangle which we are considering for this particular force and similarly this is minus 424 and cos of gamma will be the base so the base is this base divided by hypotenuse so 900 divided by 900 divided by hypotenuse which is 1060 so minus 420 minus 424 into 560 divided by 1060 so this gives me minus 224 and similarly minus 424 into 900 divided by 1060 so this gives me minus 360 newton now to find the resultant uh, the resultant will be equal to the sum of all the x components that will that will be our x the x component of the resultant will be the sum of all the x components and the y component of the resultant will be the sum of all the y components so now simply we need to add this plus this plus this for our x so our x is uh, 640 uh, plus 192 minus 224 this gives me 608 so the our x component is 608 newton and our y will be plus 480 minus 360 minus 360 so the ry component is minus 240 newton so if you want to represent that resultant as a cartesian vector so our vector will be equal to 608 i minus 240 j so this means that the one of the component of the resultant is in the positive x and one component is in the negative y so now if you want to represent that resultant so the resultant is going to act the x component is in the positive x and the y component is in the negative y so the resultant is somewhere like this so let me represent that let's say if this is my positive x this is my positive y so the our x component of the resultant is like this our y component is like this and if we add both of these by high to trade rule so this one will be our resultant force this is my positive x this is my positive y 
So now if we want to find the angle of the resultant with the positive x-axis, let's say we want to find this angle theta of the resultant. So now this is my Rx and let, we can draw that Ry here as well. So this is my Ry. So if we want to find that angle theta, which the resultant is making with the positive x-axis, so we need to apply tan theta. So tan theta. So considering this right angle triangle, we can apply tan theta and tan theta will be the perpendicular divided by base. So that is Ry divided by Rx. So we can say that theta is tan inverse. Now Ry magnitude, we will only consider the magnitude. So the Ry magnitude is 240 and the Rx magnitude is 608. So tan inverse 240 divided by 608 so this gives me theta angle equal to 21.54 degrees so this means that the resultant is making uh, 21.54 degrees with the positive x-axis is in the clockwise direction this is in the in the clockwise direction and now if you want to find the resultant magni magnitude again we need to apply the Pythagoras theorem so the resultant magnitude will be equal to R x square plus R y square under the square root. So this is equal to, so R x is 608 square plus R y is uh, minus 240 square and then we need to take the square root. So this is 608 square um, plus minus 240 square. So this gives me the resultant magnitude equals to 653.65 newton so the resultant of these three forces uh, is 653.65 newton and it is making uh, 21.54 degrees with the positive x-axis in the clockwise direction and the rx component and the ry component of the resultant are this and this respectively so this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for such more problems from Vector Mechanics by Bear and Johnston.